you're a weirdo, you're a creep. You don't need any kids around you, honestly. He had been gone. After he left, I got a period. Mm -hmm. A good, nice, hefty one, too. And then I got pregnant soon after that, you know, because you ovulate after your, preg after your, after your, um, you know, after your period. Yeah, like I said, I remember when I got pregnant. I remember. Because this little gorgeous little baby of mine, he has nothing to do with you. I know for a fact. Girl, girl I'm going to call you a girl. Girl, I, remember, I know when I got pregnant. Okay, I know when my legs were in the air and what Joey was doing down there. Okay. Hey y'all, uh, it's Destiny, and yes, I did see the video where Liv finally decided to stop lying. This woman went two years saying that AJ's father was not Zola. She's been lying for that long, but now she thought she was going to make a video telling the truth, and people are just going to be like, okay, great. No, mm -mm. two years of lying to the man that that's not his child? Okay. Just because Liv's loyalty gang agree and believe everything that she says, it's not happening over here. We don't forget what you said. That's your loyalty gang. So the first part of this video is just a compilation video because I find it funny. There's so many contradictions and Liv thinks that we forgot. So go ahead and enjoy this compilation and then we're going to be back to talk about a Another very interesting video that she decided to do on this internet. So if you're ready to get into this compilation video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Is, why do you guys have to like call him AJ's father? Is AJ's father excited? <laughs> My man is very excited. Yes, he is. He's very, very excited. I didn't want to play that role, respectfully. Um but what I now I mean now I feel like I can't be so picky because I have kids um but the guy that I'm with now he doesn't have kids I have kids to go right does it mean a football team it's a football team between Joey and I I want to go pick what's wrong with me bro do we have a football team uh uh oh don't say nothing yeah a whole bunch of kids enough kids to go right does it mean a football team it's a football team between Joey and I people I want to go pick what's wrong with me bro um, but the guy that I'm with now, he doesn't have kids. Okay, that's what we're gonna say. Now you guys don't remember his name. Let's lay on it. My name is Ryan. Anyway, him and I have enough kids. My name is Ryan. But yeah, I mean, even like the guy that I'm with now, like, I don't know, like, I feel weird even saying, like, maybe one day he'll be my kid's stepdad. But like, that's weird. Like, no. And I know, like, he wouldn't try to force it or it wouldn't be that type of situation. Like, he would just be who he is. He would just, well, <laughs> almost just said his name. He would just be him, you know, to the kids, and that's it. Would I date a man with kids? I don't know. I don't know. Kailani has a sister that's in her 20s. Yes, my baby daddy has a 20 something year old, <laughs> uh, a two year old and a six month year old, okay? That's how spaced out his kids are. His, fir his first daughter's in her 20s. His last daughter is six months. Not I have dated men with kids. Um, like now that I've been, uh, you guys, honestly, I've only dated... No, I dated two guys with kids. Two guys with kids since I've been on my own. I dated two guys with kids. Well, the first guy I wasn't really dating, but I was talking to him. I talked to him. I dated him, and then I dated this other guy, but he wasn't really... I wouldn't call him a father, but, you know, he did have a child. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really know, though. It's not really my cup of tea. I because I'm already in a situation where I'm with a man and he has a child and it's with me. <laughs> so he definitely has a baby. Um, but no, he did not have kids before. And I thought that would be weird to be with a guy with no kids. Um, like so seriously with a guy with no kids, but it's not. It's a football team between Joey and I. It's not. He, and I feel like he more understands the situation now because he has a baby. You know what I mean? I definitely think there's more reality with people with kids versus people with no kids. You know what I mean? Uh, because he's got a lot of understanding now that he has a baby, you know? I forgot what I was saying. I was saying something and Robin overheard me saying something like, I might, what was I saying? I said something to my mom, like something about his dad wanting another baby or I said something like that. And then Robin's like, oh, another baby? Are you gonna have a girl? You want a girl this time? What are you gonna have, mom? I'm like, okay, calm down, sis. Calm down. This is Penguin. 
okay another thing i want to do is i want to let you guys in more Ooh. on aj like i really do my fam so you know i've had long talks with his father and with my family just on if i want to show him to the world i'm not sure yet but i do want to share more with you guys so i'll update you guys a little bit on aj's progress it's the lies for me. The fact that you would even lie to your own three oldest children about who the two youngest father is, is insane. There's something mentally wrong with this person. Now before we get to the actual confession video, I just want to remind everybody that Liv said AJ should never be around Zola. There's no reason for him to be around. She also said that he has a record and she would never want her son around this man. Hmm. Anyway. Do you guys have any questions? Because people are doing interviews, they think it's cute to come up in here and still talk about the best they have ever been with. So let's talk about it. Do you guys have any questions about the gay, the gay man and his keeper? Well, I don't know much about the keeper, but I could talk about the gay man. Yeah, let's not forget, she called this man gay and told everybody that she saw him with a man in a car doing sexual acts. Mm-hmm. Um, let me... Look, I have nothing against the gay community. I love the gay community, so I don't want it to come off like that, okay? So, it's just, how dare you? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more like, how dare you? It definitely comes off that way, Liv. But hey, let's continue. And even if even if you do got money, it's not your money, it's our money. It's the ladies' money. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no money. But you want to talk about me because I'm door dashing. So, who cares? I get it on my own. I know you know nothing about that because you a sugar baby. Just want to sit on an old lady's lap and get taken care of. I don't do that. I get it on my own, period. I don't care what I got to do. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get it. There's nothing wrong with honest hard work. What's wrong with honest hard work? Now, we all know Liv doesn't work. She doesn't do anything for herself or those children. Her stepdaddy, mm -hmm, Stella's husband, pays everything. But see how she's talking about Zola? He's a sugar baby. He does whatever he needs to do to that old woman so that he can get what he wants. She can't even be respectful and call her by her name, which is Donna. He said he got motion for real. Yeah, he got motion. He got motion in that old school Lexus driving down the street to her bank account. That's the motion he got, honey. Were you picturing my face or are you picturing the old little white boy, Jake? He likes little white boys. He does like the white. I, I think he's bisexual because he enjoyed he enjoyed doing stuff with me. I know he enjoyed that. All of these things you said about Zolo, but somehow you want to come out now and say he is the father, and you want him around? Look, I don't like to say this because I do have a lot of beautiful older women who watch me. I respect older women, you know, smart um, women who influence, who motivate, you know, who you could look up to. This woman that we're talking about, I would never look up to a disgusting woman like her. Just for reference, she's talking about Zolo's wife, just so y'all know. Because she's gross. She wanted my leftovers. She saw a man on social media dog me out, live off of me, supposedly. That's what all the world thought, that he was living off of me. Um, you saw his record. You saw everything about him, and you invited him into your home after the fact. At least I could say, I never saw him dog no chick out. I never saw him drag. I never saw him get online, and I never saw him do all that. You did, and you wanted him to come into your home. So right there shows me that you're desperate as ever. You you, you can't get a man. You, you like him funny you like them bisexual you like them you like them however you like them but that lady is disgusting to me she's a perv i'm sorry i don't care what you say and it maybe makes sense two pervs together you guys are two perverts she called solo a pervert she called donna a pervert two perverts together this is how she talked about her second baby daddy and his new wife because he likes little boys and you like little boys so maybe that goes good together motivation and influence obviously okay so let's get it together let's get it all the way right before you try to <laughs> chuckle on the side of that little gay boy don't play with me okay because i've been holding it back for a long time trying to be respectful to you but you think you're cute and you're not Liv is not respectful to anyone i think that old lady even said that i dm'd her girl i would never dm you a day in my life i have a grandmother i don't need another one okay number one and number two why would i dm you for what I don't want Zolo, Hobo, no, no. I don't want him. And now, present day, she's talking about she loves him. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait till y'all see. 
I don't want him. And, and you can keep also playing that recording of me calling you when you first left. I was just calling you to tell you to shut up, okay? Because you talk too much. You're worse than a woman. You talk too damn much. And that's all I was calling you for. I wasn't calling you to talk about no baby. I wasn't, talking, I wasn't calling you to talk about my new nigga. I wasn't trying to talk to you about nothing. I was only calling you to ask you, can you please hush? Okay, stop going online and talking shit. Enough is enough. I love the Zolo and Liv back and forth thing. I love it. I think it was hilarious. It was the most fun I had watching Liv when Zolo was dragging her on this internet and she didn't know what to do. Maybe it's a part two coming soon. But we never got there, okay? Nigga think I'm trying to. It's your baby. Nigga, bye. The fuck? You know why you don't have any recording of that? Because it didn't happen with you. You're not my son's father. It didn't happen with you. You're not my son's father. Oh, really? <laughs> but like I said, just so I can get you off my nuts, I'll give you a DNA test. I, I will give you one, gladly. 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 Am I being recorded? Can you guys record it? Can you guys replay this? Can you guys stitch this? Can you make this a real, a short? Liv, one thing you have to remember, it's always being recorded. Somebody will always have everything that you said. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Hobo. Hobo dummy, because I know your name is smart. Hobo dumb. Hobo, ho hobo dumbass. If you want a DNA test, baby, I already said it. Call my phone. Dum dum. Unblock me on social media. Write me a nice little text. Hey. Hey, girl. Say, hey, girl. Do little hands. And say, can I get a DNA test? I'll say, sure. 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 We can meet here. Or you do one over there, I'll do one here. And then we send it off to the lab, get it together. I will say that Zolo definitely needs to get a DNA test still. Liv loves to pin babies on people. Now, obviously, we know this is Zolo's baby. But still, just be 100%, okay? She's nasty. But she don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. Because then you would really have to let me go. Mm hmm Yeah. Because this little gorgeous little baby of mine, he has nothing to do with you. I know for a fact. Girl, I'm going to call you a girl. Girl, I'm, I know when I got pregnant. Okay, I know when my legs were in the air and what, what Joey was doing down there. Okay. This just confirms that she was sleeping with this Joey or whoever this man is while she was pregnant with AJ. And just think about it, y'all. That's not new, okay? She was out here doing it with Christian in her stomach. And somebody even said she was out here doing the same thing with Robin in her stomach. She's just, she's nasty. Uh, he's this guy on here. He's trying to hold on to the last couple strands of his hair that he has just so he can put it up in a ponytail and rock a dry ass ponytail on top of his head. But baby, it's not giving what y'all think it is. It was charges, like she's okay with everything about him. She's okay with it, she rides for him. And that's okay. But when I found out things about him, I had no business being with him anyway. I should never have even nothing, cause he's below me. Never, I should have never even looked his way. But like I said, I was in a, I was in a bad place. I was vulnerable. I was lonely, I was codependent, I thought I needed to have a man, I thought I couldn't be by myself, girl, blah, 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 it goes on and on and on. Let's not forget, Liv is still all of these things, but let's continue. Um, so I made the mistake of being with somebody like him, but, uh, no. Once I found out the truth about him, I was still trying to be his friend. I wish I had that video. I have some recordings of us together and I might publish them. Um. Because like, I have him crying. I have a bunch of things. You know, he loves to say I was on drugs, which is complete bullshit. That's one of the reasons why I stopped dealing with him because he would not stop smoking. I was trying to get him to stop smoking because I didn't want that shit around me. And he can't, he tried to come out and say I was on drugs and all types of shit. I literally have a video of him saying I do not do drugs and he lied all about that. Liv is going to lie about everything. Now she wants us to believe that she tried to get Zolo to stop smoking. He was such a liar. And like his main thing was just to make me look bad. I mean, he did a good job. He did a good job. He made a lot of people turn against me and he did a good job, but I'm not allowing it anymore. And you're gonna leave me alone. You're going to, you're going to. It's gonna happen. Hopefully after this, you just leave me alone and the old lady, the old lady just makes you just leave me alone because this is quite embarrassing for her. And if you guys don't think this is embarrassing for her, this is quite embarrassing. Could you imagine? Can you imagine being with somebody like that? How many times is she gonna call her an old lady? 
So now that she wants to come out and say AJ is Zolo's child, are you going to apologize, Liv, for all of this that you're saying about Donna, a woman who did nothing to you? You need to make that your next video, apologizing to Zolo's wife, because she truly did not do anything to you. Maybe she has no shame in her game. I don't really know. Why doesn't Joey acknowledge AJ? Well, what do you guys want me to do? Do you guys want me just to record every conversation? Do you want me to get a recording of AJ, I mean, of Joey saying AJ's his son? Is that what you guys would like me to do? Because that question, why doesn't Joey acknowledge AJ? Like, you guys live in my house. Y'all see that, right? She said, do y'all want me to get a recording of him saying that he's AJ's father? And then she did a whole live stream talking to this man on the phone. And he was talking about how those are his kids, or at least one of them was. Everything she has been saying for the past two years has been a lie. Really, three years. Ever since she was pregnant. Right? And like, you guys live in the walls, or I don't know what y'all think this is, but usually when AJ talks to his son, I mean his dad, he's not on, I'm not recording him for you guys to see and to, you know. No, Joey does not live in my house, no. But he talks to his father every day. <coughs> AJ talks to his father every day, Joey. Yeah, every day. Do it? I'm not doing that. For what? You guys will still come on here and say that's on his dad. You guys will still come on here and say that. For the simple fact that you guys are trolls. So are people still trolls, even though you got on here and said that that's not his father now? Hmm? Are those people still trolls? Please let us know. Just hit me up. I don't know. See, that's another thing. I don't know why all this beef is continuous beef. Like, that's why it's giving. You still want me. You still want something. Like, I don't know what you want from me. Because, let's say in a in a, in a magical, mysterious world, you're my baby daddy. Well, y'all, I guess we're in that magical, mysterious world, aren't we? I don't even want no beef with a baby daddy, okay? Um, you can come and see your son. You can do whatever you want. You can send me money when you got it. I'm not putting you on child support. I'm not that type of baby mama, okay? I have a... I don't even know why you would even want beef with me. Because you really think in your delusional mind that I'm your baby mama. So why do you want beef? Can you imagine being Liv sitting here doing this live stream? Just lying the whole time? How did she even live with herself? But I pretty much said what I wanted to say. Leave me alone, okay? I know you don't want me coming out here every couple months and talking about how you're gay, reminding the people how you're gay, and reminding the people that the woman that you're with is this complete pervert who's taking advantage of a young man in a bad situation. Let's be real, it's called what it is, okay? I don't really want to be bad press. I don't want to keep talking. I don't want to say anything about you. You're so irrelevant in my life. That's why I let you go a long time ago because I didn't want you in my life. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone, leave me alone. Baby daddy, yeah, you can't find your baby daddy. That's weird. That's weird. That's crazy work. Um, no, because if I thought he was my baby daddy, I would have told him a long time ago. He would have been on child support because there's no reasoning with his crazy ass. Didn't she just say that she wouldn't put him on child support because she's not that type of baby mama? Mm, I guess you are, huh? He would be on child support and he would, you know, get his little visitation. What's the problem? If I, I would use your child support to pay my child support, bitch. What you talking about? It's not fucking rocket science. But... You are dangerous, you're weird, you're a perv, I don't want you around me, um, so why am I gonna go into this delusional world of letting you think that a little boy is your kid when he's not your kid? <coughs> you're a weirdo. Please leave me alone, please, please, you know, please. I know who, I, 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 there's no slight chance of nothing, okay? There's no slight chance that Zolo is AJ's father? Oh, really? He's just disrespectful. That's another reason why I haven't given him shit. First of all, because he doesn't want it. If a man really wanted a DNA test, he would just hit me up. That's it. It's one plus one equals two. But he doesn't want a DNA test, you guys. He doesn't want that. And another thing is he's so fucking disrespectful. You know, he was rambling on and on and on. This is when I lived in Florida. He was, he's been with this fucking DNA test bullshit. I was going to give him one like a year ago. I was like, fuck it. I, I was thinking the same thing I'm thinking now. But I was trying to do it like low key off the screen, you know, it had been a year since I've been talking to, talk to him. So I was thinking, okay, he's probably matured. You know, he's with the old lady now. I'm gonna just give this to him so he can leave me the fuck alone. So I hit him up. I hit him up on, on Instagram. And I said something like, it was when I was in school. So I was when I was in the beauty school. 
because he was still talking shit. And I messaged him and I'm like, are you, why are you still talking shit about me? What did he do? He went straight to the internet. Look, everybody, she messaged me. She's obsessed with me. She loves me. I'm just like, oh my God. Well, Liv, if you wanted him to take a DNA test, messaging him and asking him why he's still talking about you is not saying he can get a DNA test. But yes, I think Zolo should have went and got a DNA test a long time ago, but that's just my opinion. I can't even, I can't even give you a DNA test, motherfucker, because you won't fucking shut the fuck up. You just want everybody to know that I, that I messaged you. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> How many potential men could be his father? My baby has a father. His name is Joseph. Yes. Uh-huh. That's it. That's it and that's all. This man is not a father to any of my children. He wants to be because he's obsessed with me. So he would, he wants so badly. He has a daughter and he's not in his daughter's life. He's not in his daughter's life. Maybe because he can't, or maybe because he chooses not to. But he doesn't want his daughter. He doesn't want to be a father to his daughter. But he wants to be a father to my son? You fucking weirdo. First of all, why? Because he's a boy? You fucking weirdo? Ew. Oh my god, I don't want to go there. I don't want my mind to even go there. He's not your son, okay? Let's just leave it at that, okay? Let's just leave it there, okay? <laughs> so we can already insinuate what Liv is talking about. Why? Zolo wants to be in AJ's life because he's a boy. Just think about that for a second. This is what she's saying about Zolo and AJ. This is why she's saying she didn't want him around AJ. And she said he wasn't the father. You're a weirdo, you're a creep. You don't need any kids around you, honestly. It was gone. He had been gone. After he left, I got a period. Mm -hmm, a good, nice, hefty one too. And then I got pregnant soon after that. You know, because you ovulate after your after your after your um, you know, after your period. Yeah, like I said, I remember when I got pregnant. I remember. <coughs> I remember. Yeah, I know my body. I know my man. I know what happened. I was there. So yeah. So now that we went down memory lane, now let's go to present day and see what Liv is saying about Solo and AJ. <sighs> AJ's father. It's not flipped and saying it is. <laughs> you guys were like, duh. <laughs> no, but for real, real shit. AJ's father is Lorenzo. Yes. The man himself, Mr. Mr. Bands. <laughs> that is AJ's father. Mm -hmm. And if you guys know, we've had quite a past. Wow, not surprising. I don't think anybody is surprised. You know, um, but recently we got back in contact and it's weird to say this, but he's actually like a really good friend. It's so crazy to say this. And I'm actually really thankful for him that he wants to be in AJ's life. And it's all about AJ, you know, it's all about his well-being. And his no, mm -mm. this isn't sounding right. Now y'all are good friends. Something is not adding up. Why now? Why now? Why now is it about AJ? having both of his parents and that's what i've always wanted you know people that's what she's always wanted the lies the lies thinking i was ashamed no i was never ashamed that he was my baby daddy or nothing like that nothing i was just i didn't trust him and i didn't know if we were on the same page and blah blah blah, blah. like like i had to talk to him and we've done that you know we've done that we've cleared the air we both understand that AJ is most important here. And no matter what I've been through with any of my baby daddies, I would never keep them out of their kid's life. Because it's been two years. A whole pregnancy in two years. AJ will be three in March. What do you mean you didn't want to keep him from his father? It's not about me. When a child enters this situation, it's not about us. It's about that baby. So I know that AJ needs both of his parents and he has both of his parents. His father's not dead, his father's not, doesn't want, doesn't, it's not he doesn't want to be in his life, he wants to be in his life. So with that being said, I, I welcome him with open arms and I'm so happy that he wants to be in AJ's life. And What type of personality is this? All of the things that you said over the years about Zolo, but now you're happy that he's in AJ's life and he wants to be in AJ's life? What are you talking about? So cute because they've met and they're talking and Lorenzo calls every day, y'all, to talk to his 
Lorenzo calls every day. Isn't that the same thing she said about AJ's other father, you know, Casper, AKA Joey? And, and he sent him a tablet, he sent me money. He is very, very, very involved. He sent her a tablet and money. When was this? Why didn't you make a video of this? And this is what I've always wanted for AJ. So I'm I'm very happy that um, AJ has his dad. And I was not gonna come on social media and clarify anything until I had that talk with him, until we had that understanding. And like I said, we've been talking for a little minute now and everything is good, you know? Something is not right, I'm telling you. I don't know what she's trying to do, but something's not right. Everything is good and like I said, it's just about AJ. That's what is most important. You know, I respect him, he respects me. And honestly, we're kind of friends and it's nice. It's nice getting along with him. It's nice talking about our son. It's like a breath of fresh air. So I guess Gerard's wife, Nisha, telling her to find her baby daddies. I guess that really struck a nerve and she said, you know what, maybe I should. <laughs> Because there's no reason why two people who are grown and mature cannot put their children first and get along and have a good co-parenting relationship. There's just no reason for that not to be the case unless you have other stuff going on, you know what I mean? But I can say with Lorenzo and with Joey, Joey is very much real, honey. It's Kailani's father. Do y'all really believe that Joey, Casper, the random, is Kailani's father? Let me know in the comments. I can say that they're both really good friends to me and they're both supportive of their children. And what I said about Joey was not fake. Joey, he knew that Lorenzo was not in AJ's life when I met Joey and Joey fell in love with, with AJ and he was like, okay, well, if he's not gonna be around, then I will step in and be there for AJ. But that doesn't clear up the lies about you being pregnant and some man was there the whole way, remember? She said that Casper was in a delivery room with AJ, so now you're saying that Joey met AJ, fell in love with him, and treated him like a son. Well, that can't happen when you're pregnant. So who was the man around her when she was pregnant? Because it's not Joey. Which is noble. It's a noble thing to do, and I do appreciate him. And to this day, Joey is still, whenever he calls, hi, AJ, you know, he doesn't treat him any different than Kailani because he, he has love for AJ, you know? And that's a good thing. That's a good thing, you know? That's a beautiful thing. But AJ does have a father, and that is his dad. <laughs> and what is with all this laughing? And I didn't have to come and say this. Lorenzo and I were both like, ooh, should we even say anything? But the only reason I wanted to is because I let you guys in my life. And I don't have anything to hide. Nothing is a secret. Like, ooh. It's just, if I don't want to tell you guys things, I don't have to. I'm grown. I'm a grown woman. And if I don't want to share certain details and I want to say, yeah, I got two baby daddies, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's my business. I can do that. Well, Liv, yes, you can lie. You lie every day, all day. Your whole life is a lie. That's fine. But when people call you out on your lies, then you get upset about it. You call them trolls. If you don't know that, then you don't know boundaries. But just because somebody's on social media doesn't mean you have access to their whole entire life and they better tell you what you want to know. No. Liv doesn't know boundaries. Every single man she sleeps with, she brings around her children. What are the boundaries to that? No. But to the people who speculated, you guys got it right. Yes, that is his baby. And he's very much in his life. And we're very much on a, on a good page, on the same page. Like I said, I respect him, he respects me. And that's that's all you can ask in a co-parenting situation, you know? So, yeah. So, you're telling me that she wanted to wait until her and Zola were good for her to come out and say, yes, he is AJ's father, and we're on good terms, and we're co-parenting. You might even see him one day visiting AJ, or who knows, you know, who really knows? We're not trying to... We've done so much broadcasting of what has gone on between Lorenzo and I. We're really not trying to broadcast anymore, anything. It's just, yes, I wanted to clarify. Because <laughs> I felt like, I don't care. I don't care that I have three baby daddies. Y'all think it's something to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of shit. It ain't seven, it ain't eight, it ain't nine, it ain't ten. But if it was, that would be my business. Liv is definitely ashamed to have three baby daddies. Because if she wasn't, she wouldn't have got on here for two years, three years, saying she only has two. She wouldn't have tried to convince everybody that AJ and Kailani have the same father. But it's three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
and I love all my children and I'm so happy that every single one of them are here and I love my two baby daddies. I really do. Jolly and Lorenzo, I really, really got a lot of love for them because I Don't y'all just love how she loves the baby daddies who are not around their children every day, who do not do anything for their children every day, but the one father who is actually in his children's lives physically present there all the time that's the one she doesn't love. I said, they're both really good people to me. They respect me as the mother of their kids. And that's all I want. To put the best behind me and I can move forward for the sake of my son. And so can he, you know? I know a lot of things were said on both sides. Hold on, wait me. A lot of things were said and done on both sides that we did, we did out of hurt, we did. But like I said, it doesn't matter because what matters is our son. One thing about Liv and Zolo, they never can get along for long. We have never seen them be able to get along for a long period of time. It just doesn't happen. So we're both on the same page with that. Everything has been going so good. And like I said, also, I'm just so happy that AJ has him, you know, I'm not in the business of keeping fathers away from their kids, despite what anybody says about me. That's not who I am. I just want to be respected, and I want respect for the whole situation, including the child, including the father, including me. Everybody needs to be respected, you know? That's how things work. So anyway, the cat is out of the bag, y'all. No, yes, there's three of them. Mm -mm, sure is. There might be a fourth. You never know. Okay, no, no, I'm just joking. There's not, no. The factory's closed, locked, shut down. This is so fake. The fact that this woman spent two years trying to convince everybody that Zolo wasn't the father. She spent, what, a year? More than a year? Not showing this baby because she didn't want people to even see that he looked like Zolo. But now she thinks she can just come on here and say, well, yeah, he is the father. That's it. You did not want this child to have his father in his life. Stop lying. Okay, we're burning down, okay? No more babies. But I love my two baby daddies, so I don't care what y'all had to say. I love them, and they help. So I don't care what y'all had to say. I love them, and they help. They're, 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 they're good people, and they, they look out for me. And well, there you have it. She loves Zolo. That makes a lot more sense now. She said, oh, don't be in my life. You're making me nervous on that one live stream. Somebody said Zolo was sending her roses on TikTok. Does anybody think that Liv would try to get back with Zolo? What do y'all think? I don't really care about this whole beef because you saying a person who is not my baby daddy is my baby daddy. I don't give a fuck about that because the nigga's not my baby daddy. Lorenzo, come get a, come get a virginity test. I already told him. Everybody tag him. Tell him to call me. You can call this big moose bitch, call my phone, and get a paternity test. What's the fuck you hold up? He doesn't want one because he knows he's not the father of my kids. So once he finds that out, he no longer has clout attached to live. You get that? He can no longer troll me. He can no longer be up my ass. He can no longer try to be friends with everybody I fall out with. That's why he will not come and get a DNA test. If he wants one, please come get one, okay? So this is the live when she was going off on Jasmine and Jasmine told everybody that Zolo is the father. Liv tried to deny it as much as she could, but clearly we know he is. But yes, Zolo, if you're out there, if you ever hear this, get a DNA test. If you want one, please come get one, okay? Like I said, if you were my baby daddy, I would have put your ass on child support. I would have been draining you and the old lady, okay? Like the swamp, okay? But you're not, my nigga. That's why I didn't want your little measly ass $200. I didn't want your little $100. I don't need any of your disgusting, tainted, sugar baby money. Not me. Leave that for this big bitch. I don't want your money, my nigga. My son has a father. And honestly, if I was on my other phone, I would call him. Y'all want me to, I'll, you know what? Hold on, do I have Joey's number on here? This phone I don't use like that. But I don't care about that. That's why this beef. Just look at that caught in so many lies it's ridiculous aj is zolo's child i still think he should get a dna test but yes of course but that just means all this time she's been lying lying about everything lying about a man being there at the hospital lying about this man in new york lying about everything and the crazy part about it is that her supporters will still support her they don't care if she lies to them i think they like it 
But y'all have got to let me know what you think about the situation. What was your favorite lie that Liv has told? Joey has kids. Joey doesn't have kids. AJ is his first kid. AJ isn't his kid. <laughs> Kailani is Joey's kid. Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Oh, you know, there's people, you know, out here <sighs> giving up on life, crying their eyes out as usual. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. Life is so funny. I swear to God, only the, only the real survived, honey, okay? Only the strong survive in this life. I swear to God. But I'm living on a side. But yeah, guys, be strong. Be strong out here. You know, I understand we fall. We, you know, shit happens. But stop getting on this fucking internet crying. Ugh. Just gross. Just disgusting. Do you understand me? Stop getting on this fucking internet crying. Ugh, just gross, just disgusting. Do you understand me?